So I just downloaded this one here. You can download a whole bunch of different dashboards. This one is free. It's called Blue Chrome. Temperature, um, Spark Advance. Oh, I like that. I really like that. Speed. You can rig up the speed to GPS. That's what I need to do because I have a non-electronic transmission. Um, I think this is the air fuel ratio here. Oh my goodness. So anyway, yeah, that's not bad. I still haven't done the Bluetooth yet. I gotta try that. The radio works. Navigation, um, I'll try that because I do have the GPS antenna in there now. Uh, music settings. I haven't really messed with it much yet. I'm on the Play Store right now and I just searched for uh, Real Dash and it seems to be here. Here it is. You need the OBD2 adapter for this. We do whatever we like. The best vehicle companion app. Downloads over a hundred thousand. Let's see if it works. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Yes. It's working. Forty-four megabytes. This is gonna be pretty cool, hopefully. Installing. Here we go, let's see if it works. Allow real dash, sure. Allow real dash, yeah, okay. Oh my goodness, boys, it's working. It's working. Friggin' right. English. Next we'll show you how to set connections and stuff. Oh, there she is. That's the firebird right there. I'm the firebird. Look at me. Tap the door to set connections and gear ratios. Tap the instruments to set the connections. Connections. So this is where you add your Wi-Fi and OBD2 here. Hasselhoff. Hasselhoff's in my car. Oh my goodness. Hopefully I don't get a copyright or something for this, for this song. Knight Rider, a shadowy flight into the dangerous world of a man who does not exist. Start. Oh, you can change the color. Let's make it red. There we go, red car. Huh. It's really simple, but, but I like it. That's pretty cool. Not much to it. You had one friggin' job. One friggin' job. You don't have to get your hands greasy. You don't have to friggin' break your knuckles. You don't have to friggin' stab yourself and get greasy. All you had to do was deliver a fucking sandwich and not squish it. 
I'm not very happy about the way they packaged it. There's no um, bubble wrap in here. They squished it. Like, what the OBD link? So I got this device right here. So I'm downloading the app and then we're gonna do some Back to the Future Knight Rider 2025 stuff. Okay, it took me about half an hour, but it finally says paired. Oh my goodness, what a chore that was. Okay. Now, try one of these apps. I think Real Dash is the only one I have right now. Aside from this, I did get this app, this OPD Link app. Link. Okay. There. Bluetooth OBD Link LX. Sounds good to me. I found this. Uh, I don't know what this is. It's from 1983. It looks like an OBD port, but might be the OBD one style. I really don't know what that is. It's got. One, two, three, four, five wires in it. This one has five wires in it also. So I unscrewed the original one and I got this one here that I've had under the hood. And it's um, it's the same bolt pattern. It bolts right in the same exact same spot. 2003, 1983. They're the same friggin' bolt pattern, same brackets, 20 years apart. So I checked these and I can't find a power wire here. I don't know. I'm not too sure what this is or how it works. But I'm guessing it's an older version of this. So I'm just using a 2002 Chevy truck harness with a throttle cable. So I didn't cut the harness up too, too much. I just removed a few things that I didn't need but I did uh, depin them most of the things. So I kept this. This is, uh, I think they call it a C100 plug. And this is the from the 5.3 2002 Chevy engine harness. And um, I kept that because there's one wire there that goes to the computer. And I got this from the junkyard and this just plugs into there. This just plugs right in. So I don't have to chop up the harness. I just plug this in and then I'll run one wire from here. It's gonna be this green one. I have to run it in the car. There's some wires here that I'm not using in the bulkhead. So um, if I could find one of those wires, one that's unnecessary or unused, and I'll just run one wire to here and into the car. airflow hooked up because it was dirty so I'm just I'm actually driving it today with it unplugged still sounds like crap and that might be why I'm, I've also just got a package package fuel injector adapters here from um, Michigan Motorsports I think it is so I might just go back to the flex fuel in injectors you can download a whole bunch of different dashboards. This one is free, it's called Blue Chrome. 
temperature, um, spark advance. Oh, I like that. I really like that. Speed. You can rig up the speed to GPS. That's what I need to do because I have a non-electronic transmission. Um, I think this is the air fuel ratio here. And uh, vacuum boost. Water temperature. Battery voltage. Um, water temperature. Intake air temperature. That doesn't seem to be prop. That's not right. I think my intake air temperature is not right. There it is. Internal storage. LS droid read files. You should be able to send it to like a USB or something. Yeah, I should be able to do something with it. And then put it on a flash drive and modify it. Well, Chrome, yes. You can certainly do that. This type of file can harm your device. You want to keep it anyway? Yes. Downloading. Okay.